I can't say enough how excited I am to be out here because yes. look at all these smiling faces. Look at, hello ladies. Yes. Woo. The breast cancer survivors. That's right. Uh. And talk about warriors, right? This is yeah. not easy to be in a dragon boat and be able to go up and down the river here at Riverworks. And they do this every year. This is their ninth year. Yes. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. Now, the organization was founded, Hope Chest was founded in the year 2000. Mm -hmm. But Anne's, Anne Kiss is going to tell us all about yes, the Anne, organization. We're going to pull her over. Yeah, come on, Anne. Thank you so much. Hello, for being Anne. Thank you for having us. Thank you for you know having what? us. Anne's also the coach of these fine ladies. And so you really take them through what is really physical fitness. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes I do. I mean, I would think we should talk about that because that's something that Hope Chest really, really. Mm -hmm. Right. loves about right. being able to offer this, because that's what it started as, a physical fitness support group, right? Exactly. Um, we are, um, when we were founded, they wanted to have a positive support group for breast cancer survivors. Yeah. So we offer free exercise and nutrition classes year round. We also run our dragon boats from May through September, and that's the f most fun of the entire organization. Um, I have been at the helm for the past 11 years, but our founder um, got us through the first 10 years. And she and her um, good friend actually are the ones who founded Hope Chest. Both of them were personal trainers. And the, um, one, the one of them, Nina, she actually uh, was a survivor. And she thought Lori should work with breast cancer survivors. And so they developed a program of exercise for them. Yeah. And then at one point, one of the girls in the exercise program came up with the idea of this dragon boating, which is huge in Canada, but we were the second team in the United States. And so the two of them formed Hope Chest. And Luminina is the name of our board of directors. And Luminina means the light of Nina. And Nina is the one of the founders. I so we that. paddle for her. Oh. Now, one thing I love about this is when you go through breast cancer, a lot of times we're afraid to work certain muscles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dr. McKenzie kind of dispelled that myth. Yes. And that is a lot of the workouts that you ladies do. Yes. I want you to talk about that because a lot of times we're afraid to move. We're afraid to do certain things. And we'll toughen you up. <laughs> but I want you to way. talk about that. Talk about okay. that. Okay. So you're right. Dr. McKenzie did dispel those myths back Oh gosh, I think it was the late 90s. And uh, women were not really allowed to do much after breast cancer. So um, they were afraid lymphedema might develop in yeah. their arms, etc. So he developed a program for these women in Vancouver. So after they were lifting and working out, he thought, well, let's put them in a boat and have them do dragon boat racing. So that's what they did for fun. And the repetitiveness of the uh, paddling was actually very good for them. So that's how we came to be. And that's how dragon boating for breast cancer survivors took off across the country and across the world. Yeah. So we actually went to the um, World um, Dragon Boat Association for Breast Cancer Survivors there back in 2014 at Sarasota in Florida. And there were over 100 teams there. And um, it was just a wonderful sight from across the world. I mean, I met people from Japan, Taiwan, Italy. It was really a wonderful yeah. thing for us and quite a trip of a lifetime for our organization. So here in Western New York, how many survivors strong is Hope Chest? Uh, I have over 110 um, active Thank you. people on the <laughs> roster. Uh, yeah, right. That was for us. Yes. <laughs> There's over 110 on our active roster, but I have over 200 emails that women who used to be with us but no longer are. They might have moved out of town or they just have not been doing dragon boating anymore. We do have women that just do the exercise program and they mm -hmm. don't paddle, mm -hmm. and that's quite all right. Yeah. Um, you know, as you were talking before, when you're done with your chemo and your radiation, you're like, a lot on your own. Like, now what yep. do I do? And a yep. lot of women come to us because that's what they're thinking about. What am I going to do now? Yeah. And when you face something like breast cancer or any cancer, you know, and you've sur you're surviving it now, you figure, well, I can do something positive, more positive for myself. I and absolutely love that you mentioned that, that not everybody who participates in the fitness program necessarily gets in the boats, but that's, it's your comfort level. It's what yep. you want to do. And you yep. know what? This weekend, 
It's the big festival. Oh, yeah. So that's a place where everybody can come out yeah, and exactly. participate because it's very important. And in just a bit, we're going to actually be talking to somebody from Hope Chest about how important yeah. it is that you come out and participate. It really is yeah. something that can change lives. So make sure you do that. We'll have all the details in just a bit. So stay with us. This is Ann Buffalo. Good morning.